Hi guys, Kevin here. Today I'd like to show you how to make a quick and delicious steak dinner. I think you'll like this recipe because the steak and all of its accompaniments are cooked in a single skillet. Now for the steak, I'm going to use a top round first cut steak. It costs me, let's see, a whopping $4.58 at my local supermarket. So the first thing we have to do with the steak is season it with some kosher salt and some grinds of black pepper. Now I'm using my cast iron skillet set over medium high heat. And when the skillet is good and hot, add a glug of vegetable oil. Do not use olive oil because it has a low smoke point. I'm using safflower oil. It has a high smoke point. I'm going to swirl that oil around and then immediately add the steak, season side down. And we're going to let this cook, oh, for about three minutes on each side or until the steak reaches an internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit. And I will check the temperature with this nifty digital meat thermometer. I'll be back and we're done. The tricky thing about cooking a thin steak like this is that you have to be really careful not to overcook it. So next in the same skillet, we're going to add two tablespoons of butter. We are also going to add, where did I put them? About eight ounces of baby bella mushrooms. These came already sliced. And we're going to let the sliced mushrooms cook just until they soften and color a little bit. That will be about one minute. Oh, I forgot to tell you, keep the steak warm by covering it either with a loose tent of aluminum foil or easier with a plate. Okay, my mushrooms have been cooking for about, oh, one and a half minutes and they are softening up. So now add either some dry white wine or even nicer, some dry French vermouth. About two tablespoons. One, two. And oh, do I love the smell of vermouth when it hits a hot skillet. It's like perfume. We're going to let the vermouth or the wine bubble for about a minute while we scrape up all the stuck on bits from the bottom of the skillet. Those bits are loaded with flavor. Now add some finely diced scallion. This is about, oh, I'd say a quarter of a cup. We're going to stir that in. Then stir in some Worcestershire sauce. Again, about two tablespoons. There are no exact proportions in this recipe. And then, because it tastes so darn good, we're going to add about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Stir that in and then because tarragon and mushrooms are a match made in heaven, we're going to add about a handful of fresh tarragon leaves. I'm not even going to chop mine up. They're just going to go directly into the skillet. Stir those in. And finally, we can throw in a pinch of kosher salt and a few grinds of black pepper. And we are done. I'm going to slice up the steak and then add it back to the pan. Be right back. Let me show you the steak. 
I cut it into, oh, roughly quarter inch slices. This is perfectly done. It's pink in the middle. That's exactly the way I love steak. And we're going to toss all of this into the still hot skillet, although I did turn the heat off. And we're going to give the mix a stir just so that all of the steak is coated with that beautiful, beautiful, whiny, tarragon-y, buttery sauce. This looks magnificent. I think it's also suitable uh, for those of you who might be practicing the ketogenic diet. I'm going to serve this steak dinner directly from its skillet. And all it needs is a little garnish of some minced scallion. And because I'm feeling fancy, a sprig of tarragon. And I already tasted this dish last night. I already know that it is absolutely delicious. Well, maybe I'll have one tiny bite. Super good and so easy. This thing took me, what, 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes tops to make. Who needs McDonald's? So I hope you'll give the dish a try. And if you feel up to it, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and post a comment below. I love hearing from you. See you next time.